Hello and welcome to EFD, where today we're looking at what could be the future of football with 10 of the breakthrough wonder kids of 2022-23. Let's go. 10. Alejandro Garnacho. Joining the Manchester United Academy from Atletico Madrid in 2020, Alejandro Garnacho set back the Red Devils €465,000. Not an insignificant fee for a youth player, but one that now looks like one of the club's very best pieces of business. Still just 18, the Madrid-born winger has only played 400 league minutes so far this term, but has already made a big impact. A fresh-faced symbol of what could be an exciting era at Old Trafford under Eric Ten Hag. Rapid, incisive and clinical, the Argentina under-20 international has mainly been utilised as an impact sub, starting just four league games but appearing in 19 consecutive matches between November and the end of February, scoring three and assisting four. And his ability to dominate defenders is evident in his underlying numbers, ranking in the top 5% of wingers in Europe for progressive passes received and progressive carries, and in the top 1% for touches in the opponent's penalty area. With his current contract up in 2024, it's imperative that United strike a new deal with the young star. 9. Fares Shabi Fares Shabi didn't even sign his first professional contract until his 19th birthday, but has quickly become one of the first names on the team sheet at Toulouse this term. Helping the French outfit consolidate themselves in mid-table on their return to Ligue 1, impressive in a campaign where the relegation zone has increased to four teams. The Lyon-born youngster ranks 7th in the squad for minutes played, with his versatility key to his continued inclusion in the team, playing in midfield, up front and on both wings. Four goals and four assists so far is not bad going at all for someone with barely any senior experience before this season, and only the talismanic Branko van der Boomen beats him for expected assists in the Toulouse squad. His productivity has slowed since an explosive autumn, but Shabby remains one of the most exciting talents in France, with his mix of physicality, flair and creativity making him stand out in a league brimming with high potential players. A rumoured target for Arsenal before the World Cup, don't be surprised to see him move on to bigger things in the next 12 months. 8. Stefan Bajetic It may be a season to forget for Liverpool, but the emergence of Stefan Bajetic has at least brought Red fans some hope about the future of their midfield. Given how prominently he's featured since breaking into the first team, it's hard to believe the 18-year-old still hasn't reached 400 minutes in the Premier League. However, there's little doubt he will continue to progress under Jurgen Klopp, outperforming experienced teammates like Fabinho and Jordan Henderson, and offering the kind of mobility and tenacity they have otherwise lacked in the centre of the park. In February, he became the youngest ever player to start a Champions League knockout game for the club, indicating the trust Klopp already has in him. The Spanish-born youngster has reportedly been taken under the wing of Thiago Alcantara, with both players' fathers also playing together for Celta Vigo back in the 90s. We can think of far worse mentors for a young midfielder to have. 7. Desiree Due Whether you're Bukayo Saka or Gavi, playing at the highest level at a young age is a strong indicator of special ability, and Desiree Due has plenty in common with these stars. The Frenchman is just 17, but has the fifth most minutes among under-19s in Europe's top five leagues this season, making 19 appearances for Rennes in their quest for Champions League football. Rennes have an eye for talent, producing Rafinha, Usman Dembele and Eduardo Camavinga in recent years, but Doe is unlike any of them statistically. Principally an attacking mid, he's grabbed four goal involvements in 900 minutes this term, and has a whopping three successful dribbles per match, but has also completed over 80% of his passes and one possession four times a game, more typical for deeper players. For France's youth side, he wears the number 10 shirt and brings huge intensity off the ball, breaking up play with pressing before bursting into attack and winning the under-17 Euros last summer as a reward. Still a work in progress, Doué will get plenty of chances under former Lyon boss Bruno Genesio, but he's highly rated in arguably the most talent-filled football nation in the world. No wonder he's attracting attention. 6. Antonio Silva Enzo Fernandez may have taken most of the headlines before his record-breaking move to Chelsea, but centre-back Antonio Silva has been one of the stories of Benfica's impressive 2022-23 campaign. The Eagles have gone supernova under Roger Schmidt, dropping just seven points in the league at the time of writing and topping a Champions League group containing PSG and Juventus. And while their attack has been brilliant, the defence has arguably been even more impressive, conceding just 0.6 goals a game. And despite only turning 19 in October, Silva has been key to this success. 
Among outfielders at the club, only Nicolas Otamendi and Alex Grimaldo have played more minutes than him, while his 73% tackle success rate is the best among regular starters. He is also no slouch in build-up, with his six passes into the final third per 90 ranking him third, a part of his game that has become more important since the departure of Enzo. With a reported release clause of 100 million euros, Silva may be the next in a long line of young stars to bag Benfica a huge payday. 5. Rasmus Hoyland Nordic giant Rasmus Hoyland may look and sound like a pound shop Erling Haaland, but the Dane is having a bumper season in his own right. Joining Atalanta for 17 million euros after 12 goal involvements in 17 appearances over a year at Sturm Graz, the 6 foot 4 striker just turned 20 but has racked up 6 Serie A goals this campaign, sitting just 2 behind Dusan Vlavic and Rafael Leao in his maiden season in a top 5 league. Happiest dropping deep, only 3 teammates beat his 1.5 chances created in a match while he also completes a dribble a game. But his key skills are typical striker ones, rating in the top 10% of forwards for touches in the box and the top 1% for progressive passes received, where he comes 17th in Europe for reeling in these outlet balls. He can even run 100 metres in less than 11 seconds. Already linked with Real Madrid and Arsenal, Hoyland's stay in Bergamo is likely to be short-lived. With a striker shortage across the continent, he could be a surprise target for goal-shy superclubs this summer. 4. Gabri Vega with Spain's youth teams producing stars like Gavi, Pedri and Nico Williams over the last two years, they're an obvious place to look for talent. And the next player on the rise for La Roja could be Gabriel Vega, who has broken into La Roja's under-21s and the Celta Vigo first team in 2022-23, reportedly catching the attention of Manchester United and Arsenal. A 20-year-old who's appeared as a number 10 and 8 this campaign, Vega is more physical than his domestic peers, standing at 6 feet tall, and has bagged 8 goals and 3 assists in La Liga across 15 starts so far, the same return as Vinicius in fewer minutes. With 3 shots a game but just 25 passes, he's more forward than centre mid right now, but he does manage 4.5 progressive passes per 90, the same as Rodrigo Bentancourt, plus good ball carrying and dispossession numbers, suggesting the ability to scale up on a team requiring him to be safer on the ball, a necessary skill if he wants to apply his trade at a high level. With under 40 top flight appearances, Vega should prioritise playing over a big move, but the talent is obvious. Another season like this one, and the Galicians won't be able to keep him any longer. 3. Alejandro Balde For years on this channel, we spent countless episodes of various shows suggesting left-backs to take over from Jordi Alba at Barcelona. But after multiple trial and errors, with the likes of Junior Firpo and Marc Cucurella failing to make the cut, it's the La Masia boy who has finally succeeded in making the left-back slot his own. Alejandro Balde may be pretty raw at 19, but his pace alone already makes him a more dangerous proposition than the aging Alba. But he also has the makings of a top-level, well-rounded fullback. The Spanish international ranks in the top 8% of fullbacks in Europe for progressive carries, in the top 4% for successful take-ons, and in the top 16% for expected assists. Balde has featured in all but three La Liga games so far this term, with 17 of his 20 appearances being starts, playing more minutes than Sergio Busquets and big money signings Jules Koundé and Rafinha. Continue to impress and Balde could have the left side of the camp now locked down for the next decade. 2. Ryan Shirky Though he's still just 19, Ryan Shirky has been around the Lyon first team since 2020, but this campaign is the first the Frenchman has made good on his obvious ability. In the course of 10 starts and 1,000 minutes, Shirky has almost doubled his career goal and assist tally, bagging 7 in Ligue 1, and while this is far from a vintage Lyon outfit, closer to the bottom half than the Europa League places as things stand, he's been used twice as much as Husam Awa, a testament to his development. It can take a practiced eye to read the stats. But to simplify things, Shirky is in the top 10% in his position for, and get ready for this, shots, expected goals and assists, successful dribbles, touches in the box, progressive carries, dribbles into the box, and forward passes received, as well as the top 15% for progressive passes. Essentially, he's great at moving the ball forward with both passing and dribbling, and finding space to create and take shots. And he's 19, suggesting there's more to come. With a contract up in 2024, Shirky will appeal to anyone looking for a creative attacking presence. Expect him to follow Malagusto to the Premier League before long. 1. Falaren Balogun the top scorer list for Europe's top five leagues this season goes Haaland, Ossiemun, Kane, Mbappe and Fularen Balogun. 
Yes, coming in ahead of Lewandowski, Rashford and Benzema is 21-year-old Arsenal Loney Balogun, who has never played 1,000 league minutes in a campaign before this year. But now he has 15 goals and an assist in league play, with his 0.7 expected goals per 90 ranking 32nd across Europe, ahead of Vinicius Jr and Jamal Musiala. That he's achieved that while playing for 10th place Stade de Reims is particularly special. The US-born Englishman contributing 48% of their total league goals, and he also rates above average for drawing fouls, dribbling into the box and carrying the ball forward. Whether he can slot into Arsenal's system is a bigger question. His 66% pass accuracy compared to the 81% of Jesus and Nketiah could pose problems, but he's now experienced in one of France's better pressing teams. And his value has more than tripled since the start of the season, not bad for a player with just 10 appearances for his parent side. Now linked to AC Milan, Balogun will surely be playing for a bigger team next year. We're yet to see a limit to what he can do. So that was our look at 10 wonder kids having breakthrough seasons this year. Who have we missed? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, smash the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Euro Football Daily. You won't regret it. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.